Sunset Beach. Bunglar Beach. Been by here lots of times. This is Rachel Pond. It's a beautiful little pond. Has fish in it. Ducks come and nest in here. Geese. People tie their boats up. And uh, it's a nice little outlet back out to the lake there. It's quiet and it's protected if there should be any storms with larger waves. Of course, it's a small lake, 170 acres, so the waves don't get too big, but nonetheless, there can be some chop sometimes. But in here, it's uh, pretty well calm, just like you see it. 365, 24-7. What a great, what a great pond. And since it's Rachel Pond, one would assume that it's right close to Rachel Beach. And it is. And here it is. Pretty spot along the trail. Just another pretty spot on the trail. Well, here we are at uh, Madrona Beach. <sighs> ah. Bald hills up there. Of the lake. You see that lake and there's not a boat on it. Tomorrow I'll shoot some video of what it looks like on opening day. That lake is going to be just full of boats. That picture video that I took back at Madrona Beach. There's a fellow fishing off the dock illegally. Why illegally? Because tomorrow's opening day. Fishing season for lowland lakes is still closed right now. Along the trail we go to Sunset Beach. Just an absolutely gorgeous Western Washington day. You know, some people say that it rains in the Seattle area. Actually, it's like this every day, 365 days a year, just like this. Absolutely gorgeous. Not. Coming down the hill into Sunset Beach. Lots of grass here at Sunset Beach. Restrooms, changing rooms.
Nice place for a picnic. Lay out a blanket. Do it the old fashioned way. Who needs picnic table? Oh, that's not a good place to lay a blanket. Oh, gosh. I'm walking in some mud here. Let me get out of here. Oh, my. tree recently fell and one of the big windstorms that we had. And it's got me wrapped up again. You can see Kind of in the distance there, shiny guardrails of a dock that goes out into the lake. That's a fishing dock. It comes, it's right behind the swimming pool. I fished off of that dock. I haven't caught anything off of that dock. Did see a giant trout swim by one day. Could not get him to bite. <sighs> Might have been the giant trout that I caught across the lake at Longwire Dock was uh, well over five pounds, well over 20 inches. I let it go. That's what I do mostly, catch and release. And sometimes with your best intentions, you still tear up a fish's gill or they swallow it too far and, and the fish, uh, you end up killing the fish to get your hook out. Those are, the, those are the ones that I keep because I know they're never going to survive. And then the ones where I catch them in the lip or in a place that I know that they're going to survive, I'll throw them back. Sunset Beach is probably the largest. No, Rachel Beach. Sunset gives it a run for its money. They're both pretty big. Got a uh, nice covered picnic area here, barbecue. Like most of the rest of the beaches. And that roadway right there is on up to the swimming pool. We're not going up there. Last time I was up there a few weeks ago, it was under construction. They're doing a lot of remodeling up there. May have to, uh, may have to wait until they've done, finished all of that in order to do it justice. Got to a boat launch here and uh, a fishing dock there. Combo, people swim off it too. But of course they swim off the beach and swim out to that float also. It's not really a water dog. Never been around water before. I grew up in the desert out in Central California. And somebody found him, animal control found him, took him to a shelter, which was a kill shelter. So he doesn't really know that much about big water or lakes. He kind of thinks he likes the water. It's probably buried deep in his jeans somewhere. Poodles actually at one point were a, a water dog, a waterfowl hunting dog. 
way back in their history until someone in France decided they were too pretty and they were gonna make them house pets. That's mostly what they are today. Although I did read that there are some people that are trying to introduce them back into water sport hunting. Well, you sure, you sure like standing there, don't you? Stand up there just like you're a people, aren't you? We've already been out there. I'm not going out there again. You want to see the water, see it from the lake shore. We got off the harness again just a few minutes ago. I didn't have the camera running. That's the third time. Thank God, in each time, I've gotten him back. When he, uh, when he gets hung up around a pole or in the brush or something, I just have to be faster at, uh, and more proactive about going and getting him untangled and not pulling on the leash because that's how he's gotten off each time is because I've tried to pull him out of his trouble. So we'll try to change our behavior so that it doesn't happen again. I would be so sad and probably crying if I lost him permanently. In a short period of time he's become a big part of my life. What a beautiful lake this is. Well, we had a nice walk all the way to Sunset Beach. Past some other beaches along the way. One day we're going to go up to the swimming pool, which is just beyond this beach. Up that hill right there. And then around the other side is Blue Lake. You can walk all around Blue Lake. And we'll end up doing that too. Down by Windy Beach, there's Horseshoe Lake, and you can walk all the way around that. And we'll do that one of these days too. Not today, Papa Dale's tired. I need a little lunch and a nap. And that's where we're headed, back to home base. <laughs> Y'all have a great day.